How you doing today? Welcome back to the Caffeinated Traders Lounge. So today I wanted to talk about risk to reward and risk percentage per trade. So how many times were you told or have you heard risk no more than one or two percent per trade and look for a risk to reward of one to two, one to three, um, and consistently trade that. All right. That is pretty standard across the industry. A lot of people say this and it is good advice. Don't get me wrong, but what they fail to tell you is why they say to do that. Right. Um, you know, they, they tell you to do it, but they don't go in depth of the statistics behind why we should actually be trading that way. Right. So in this video, I wanted to actually break that down and you know, I'll explain it to you why we should be looking for a standard risk to reward ratio per trade, like a one to three, and uh, looking at why risking 1% and then gaining your 3% is actually a good idea. All right. So basically, if you have a strategy that can actually get a one to three risk to reward, all right, whether you're trading a weekly chart, maybe with this distribution right here, right? You have a risk of 30 pips to gain 90 pips. Uh, maybe you're trading the weekly chart, could be even the daily chart. Um, here, risk of 25 pips to make 75 pips, could be trading the four hour chart. And then as we go down, risking five pips to make 15 pips, could be trading the one minute, five minute time frame, right? Whatever your strategy is, as long as you can get a one to three risk to reward, um, what we're going to discuss today will work perfect, perfect for you. Okay. So let's get into the Excel spreadsheet. So, so I can show you some numbers as to how this actually plays out on a random distribution of wins and losses. All right. So here we got the Excel spreadsheet and what I did, I broke down a hundred trades using your standard one to three um, risk to reward ratio on your trade and then risking 1% of your account balance to make uh, 3%. If you win the trade, you win 3%. All right. So based on this, I wanted to just use uh, like an even number, just a 50% win rate. You may have higher, uh, but I just wanted to use this just, just to show you that even with only winning 50% of the time because you're trading a one to three, you could still make money using this strategy. All right. So, and that that's why everyone tells you to use it, right? Cause you will still make money even if you have a low win rate. All right. So basically we have a random distribution of wins and losses here and throughout it, uh, we took a hundred trades and using 1% risk, and 3% reward, we ended up making a 100% return over the course of 100 trades. All right, so our max um, reward, 3%, minimum reward, 3%, max risk, 1%, minimum risk, 1%. And I'll show you in a minute why that's actually important and why I actually have the min and max there. All right, so basically, if you had a $1,000 account, you'd double it and be up 2,000, 10,000, Account, you'd have twenty thousand, um, and then hundred thousand dollar account. You'd now have two hundred thousand in your account because you doubled it, right? So this is good, one hundred percent return, very nice, not bad at all um, over the course of a hundred trades. But now I'm going to show you with an adjusted risk based on uh, winning streaks and losing streaks. What we're going to do. All right, to increase our gains a little bit over the course of a hundred percent, or sorry, over a hundred trades. Okay, so let's jump over to this one. Here we have the same exact distribution. I did not change the wins and losses. It is the same distribution throughout all the trades. Same win rate, fifty percent win rate. However, what we're gonna do with this one? On our first trade, we're risking 1%, okay? And we're 
still doing the one to three risk to reward ratio, but we're risking 1% to gain 3%, and we won that trade, okay? So now because we won the trade, we're gonna double our risk. We're gonna, we're gonna risk now 2% on our next trade and stand to gain 6% if we do win it, okay? So within these first two trades, we took one win, one loss. But because we, on our second trade, we lost 2%, we're actually only up 1%. However, when you actually take a string of winners, like this set right here, all right, we started at uh, 14%, right? That's what we started at. And we risked 1% to gain 3%, which brought us to 17%, okay? Now we double our, uh, our risk. So now we're risking 2% to gain 6%. And we won that trade as well. So now we did not only gain 3%, we actually gained 6% to bring us to 23, all right? So because we won that one, we doubled that again to 4% risk to gain 12% and we won that trade again. So we had three winners in a row, which isn't impossible. A lot of people do that. Um, it's not hard to do, especially if you have a higher than a 50% win rate, all right? For this example, we just, we were conservative with it. But because we won 12%, we went from 23% absolute gain to 35%, all right? So that was a big jump in our, in our equity, in our uh, net asset value, right? So that was a huge jump in our account because we won three trades in a row. So now, what do we do if we're taking a string of losses? Well, like this example here, we were, we had a, on the trade before that, we were at 4% risk and we won that trade. So we actually doubled it to 8%, all right? So this here, we ended up losing that trade. So we lost 8%, which is not the end of the world because the trade before that, we actually won 12%, right? So we're still, between those two trades, we're still up 4%, right? So losing 8%, don't even stress about it because you're still up four from your previous trade, right? Sounds like a lot up front, but it's really not. However, because we lost that trade now, we're gonna, because when we're winning, we double it. When we lose, we're gonna reduce it in half. So we drop our risk to 4% now, instead of 8%, we lost that trade, right? So now we're down 4%. And then our next trade, because we lost that one, we're gonna reduce it in half again and go down to 2%. So now we're only risking 2% on our trade. So between these three trades, we only went from 20% gain to 14%. We only actually lost uh, 6%, right? 20 to 14. But the, this string of winners, we actually went from 17 to 35. And that's where our account actually grows from. And that's why using this strategy is slightly better with a little bit of adjustment, you will gain a little bit more, right? You went from 17 to 35. So we got, uh, what's that? 820 uh, or 18% return, right? Instead of on the other example, the same three losses, we actually lost 6%, okay? So that's where the, this strategy actually compounds and that's where you'll really see the increase in gains as it goes and if you take a string of winners in a row um but don't be discouraged because if you take a string of losses and like you're only going to go down when you like down to one percent and you're going to consistently lose one percent if you're taking loss after loss after loss right um it's not going to build on you and those losses will stay low all right so you're not going to lose as much when you're taking a string of losses but when you are winning you're going to gain more all right
So let's look at the numbers. Ooh. That. So over the course of 100 trades, the same exact distribution, we ended up making 144%. So an additional 44% return on those 100 trades, right? With the same 50% win rate. So now our, like I said, I would explain why I had the min and the max, right? Our max um, risk on all these 100 trades was 16%, okay? That was the max we risked on a trade. Our minimum risk, like I said, was 1%. Our minimum reward was 3%. However, our max reward for one or maybe two trades, I didn't really look, but we ended up making on one of these trades at least was 48% return on a single trade because we increased our risk um, and then traded the same one to three risk to reward, um, the same amount of pips, right? Whether it was risking five pips to make 15, whether it was risk 20 to make 60, right? Because our risk percentage was higher based on previous trades, based on our winning streak that we've been on, we ended up making 48%, which is absolutely insane to make on a single trade. All right. So basically with a thousand dollar account, uh, you would have made $2,440, $440 more than the previous, just standard across the board. One risk one to make three risk one to make three one risk one to make three. All right. Um, it was a hundred thousand dollar account. You would have made, you would have doubled it with an additional 44,000 to make 244,000. And that would be your new, uh, account balance, right? So, um, if you have a strategy that can consistently make one to three and you don't actually adjust it and you don't, um, you know, you let your trades actually play out and you back tested it that you can at least win 50% 50, 50 of the time and you actually hit your full target of um, three reward, right? At least 50% of the time, this strategy would be perfect for you. And obviously, as you're on a winning streak, you got to kind of be conservative with the amount you're actually going to risk. Like, let's say you win uh, 10 trades in a row. We're not going to take 1% times um, and then risk 2%, 4%, uh, 8%, 16, 32, 64, right? That's only... That's only seven trades and we're already at 64% risk. Obviously you got to cut it off at some point, but the reward, right? So let's take this times three, right? So even after six wins in a row, risking 32%, we would now be standing to gain 96% on that sixth trade, right? So I personally would cut it off there. Uh, I wouldn't go to this uh, seventh trade and increase the risk there. Cut it off there. And even if you do win the, your sixth trade, don't increase your risk because that's getting a little out of hand and you don't want to be risking 100% of your return or 100% of your account at a certain point, right? Because um, then you'll have no account to trade with. All right. But as you can see, like this 32% on your fifth trade, you made 
48%. So now, even if you do lose on this six trade, right, you're still up 16% between the two trades. 48 minus 32, you're still up 16%, right? Even though you lost 32, which is a lot, it really is, like, don't get me wrong, it's a lot. But because you're on a win streak, you know, increase your risk a little bit and keep that, you know, reward yourself because you're doing good, right? Um, and then if you're doing bad, reduce your risk. And if you're on a losing streak, just keep reducing the risk until you get down to your standard 1%, until you get the flow back, right? And you start, uh, you don't want to get overwhelmed, basically. Because if you're risking too much, that's when you start making mistakes, um, especially if you're taking loss after loss, right? You don't want to be increasing your risk as you're losing because that's when you really start making mistakes and that's when accounts get blown. But you do want to reward yourself when you're doing good, right? So increase the risk a little bit, but cut it off at a certain point because you don't want to be risking like more than half of your account. That that's a little bit much. All right. So, you know, use this with a grain of salt, back test it first. Do not, do not take this as if I'm telling you to do this, but you know, test it out for yourself. And if your strategy actually allows for a one to three risk reward with at least a 50% win rate, these are the gains that you can make. All right. But, um, yeah, hope uh, hope this gave you a little bit of insight, at least on that standard one to three risk reward with a standard uh, risk 1% to make 3%, right? Or only make risk 2% to make 6%. Um, because I know most traders or most people that I've heard don't really go in depth as to why they say that. Um, and I thought that was actually a very important thing to go over because personally, I've never actually uh, been told or heard why it's important to risk only 1% or 2% and then shoot for a one to three risk to reward. All right. And I wanted to break down the numbers to see over a random distribution, what that can actually give us. All right. Uh, so. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight into what's possible when you have a consistent strategy with a consistent rule base uh, risk management, right? Um, the setup and all that can be your own, but when it comes to risk management, it needs to be very precise and consistent because that's if it's not consistent, that's when you have large spikes and large um, large swings basically in your equity, right? All right, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was a little bit insightful. And if you want to try out that adjusted risk, back test it first, see how it works for you. And you know, make your own spreadsheet, see if I did my numbers correctly. Um, if you, if you don't believe what I have here, but, um, yeah, check it out for yourself and see if this is something you want to try out rather than your standard, um, your steady risk one to 3%. All right. Anyway, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Happy trading. Take care.